These next sequences demonstrate Milo's surgical and prosthetic protocol for fix restorations. A tissue punch is used to penetrate the soft tissue at the osteotomy site. When thin, porous, or irregularly contoured bone is encountered, or when gingival manipulation or grafting is necessary, a full thickness mucoperiosteal flap should be reflected. The 1.5 millimeter diameter twist drill at 1000 to 2000 RPM create a precise initial site for the implant. An external flow of sterile irrigation should be maintained. A contra-angle driver attached to a slow-speed handpiece slips over the O-ball, removes the implant from its sterile packaging, and transfers it directly to the surgical site for seating at 15 RPM or less. A surgical ratchet with a ratchet driver can be used to accomplish the final seating stage. The ratchet driver is also available in a long shaft version for clearance in narrow spaces. Final implant seating is accomplished when the ratchet driver or the contra-angle driver is flush with the surrounding gingival tissue. At this point the implant is securely in place. The gingival collar is in its proper relationship with the soft tissue and the O-ball abutment is at its correct height. Once the placement of the implant has been accomplished, the prosthetic component of choice is now ready for use. In this instance, the final restoration will be made using the Milo straight cementable abutment. A Milo pickup impression coping is snapped over the O-ball implant assembly. A preformed custom tray is loaded while syringe material is expressed over the pickup coping and adjacent teeth. A monophase impression material is appropriate for this procedure. The tray is placed and supported for the appropriate amount of time. The final impression is removed and inspected. Examination reveals that the coping has been firmly picked up in the impression. Milo laboratory analogs are inserted into the impression copings. The working model is poured up. Appropriate Milo cement over abutments are chosen for the restoration. The selected abutment is prepared and the final restoration is fabricated. The abutment and restoration are returned from the lab. The abutment is placed in the mouth and, if clinically acceptable, is cemented with resin cement. Only a resin cement is acceptable. The final restoration is then placed and the fit, aesthetics and proper occlusion are confirmed both visually and radiographically. Upon confirmation of all parameters, the restoration is secured with cement. 